What is up beach bums? I got word that there are some Bonita running on the beach today. So I've got a trip this afternoon, but I figured I'd get out here early, throw a diamond jig, which is a new diamond jig I'm trying out today. I'm gonna show you what that is, see if it solves some of my problems. I think it might, so I'm excited about that. But I've heard there's Spanish and some Bonita running around, so I figured I'd give myself a couple of hours to get out here and see what I could wrangle in, if anything, before my trip shows up. Should be fun. We've got a little bit of rain today light rain so i don't have an external microphone on i apologize audio is weird on these gopro hero 7s without it but uh i gotta be rock waterproof today so i apologize for that but while we're walking out here just gonna go ahead and show you this before we get on the beach this is what we're throwing today this is a clark spoon Let me make sure you can see this this is a clark spoon diamond jig i can't remember what they call it this is their ounce and a half they only come in an ounce and a half but they do have a few different colors what i like the hook quality you can already tell is a lot better i can see that the paint is uh looks like it's a really good quality it should hold up we're going to find out hopefully today with some fish but i think this may solve some of my problems i think these hooks are going to be better i like the swivel on here it's bigger so i think that gives it more play for that fish to move around with it with it in its mouth so let's hook some fish and find out water color is gorgeous i'm throwing my diamond jig today on one of my steelhead rods which i've never done that before but i'm excited about it gonna be real light tackle hopefully we can hook some of these bonita should be fun on that and uh you know i've got this is my nine foot rights mcgill i've got a 2000 size pin battle too with 10 pound braid oh yeah <laughs> we can definitely get out there that's for sure there's so much bait in the water i mean all these little minnows i mean there's a ton of mullet you know big big mullet i don't know if you can see them jumping in the camera or not but they're swimming just maybe 10 yards in front of me they're coming in right there doubt you can see that right in that wave not sure if you can see it but they're just mullet by the hundreds hundreds coming in there's a fish there's a fish lady fish lady fish not not what we want today there's one i think it's the lady fish i think i saw it jump ah yeah man Something. Stay down, stay down, stay. Ah, ladyfish. Man, if they jump, you're done. You are done with ladyfish. Stuff going on over this way. I don't think I can quite reach that far. Let's see. That's into the wind. All right. I forgot my pliers. Need to hook those up. Little blue fish. Little teeny guy. First fish though. Thank you, buddy. Woo! Big old shark. Oh, look at that. I don't, well, I say shark. It may be dolphin, but it looked like a shark just blew up on that. that oh my gosh. Look at it. I think it is a shark. Man, he's going nuts on those. Oh, that's got to be a dolphin. Let's see if they do it again. Oh, it's over here. Maybe it is a shark, man. I don't know. <laughs> that was awesome. There's so much going on out here right now. There's a fish. There's a fish. I'm trying to keep him down. Keep 
keep them down, keep them low. Don't jump. This one ain't big. A little Spanish. A little Spanish. Look at that, beautiful. Look at that watercolor. Awesome. Little guy. Oh, there he goes, perfect. Perfect. Nice. All right, where's that Bonita? That was a fast retrieve. It seems to be what, I started out slower, but it seems the fastest way to go. And there's so many minnows. There's so much bait out here. There's a fish. There's a fish. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, I didn't even see what there was. I think it was another Spanish. Man, I'm telling you, if, if, if they jump, you are toast with this diamond jig. There we go. Feels like a little better fish. A little better fish. Come on. Come on. Ah, dropped it, dropped it. Dang it. <sighs> it's so hard. Like, like, the challenge isn't hooking fish with these jigs. It's keeping them pinned. Keeping them pinned. Oh, right, right off the bat. As soon as it hit the water. Not a bonita. Try to hold this rod tip down and keep maintain pressure. There you jump, you jump. You're, you're done. <laughs> I think that was a little blue. Oh, here's the bonita. Here's the bonita. I see him. Oh, I see him. 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 Oh, come on. Stay, 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 stay. They just swam up. Okay, they're right here, they're right here, they're right here. Jumping right in front of me. Right in front of me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on. They're like so fast. All over the place. I can't even... I couldn't even pick out where the heck they were gonna go. Wow, they just showed up out of nowhere. That school of Benito, it was maybe a school of like 10 or 15 of them. They just came in real close, super fast, darted around all over the place, <laughs> and then darted off somewhere else. I, I, I tried getting my lure in and throw at them, but by the time I could even get my lure retrieved and try to throw at them, they were, they were gone. Like, that just happened super fast. There is bait just all in the water it's pretty clear i don't know if you can see it or not but they're all in there and these minnows are just all over the place oh immediately hooked up as soon as that hit the water hooked up oh oh Swimming fast, swimming super fast. I think we're still hooked up. Coming in at me. Spanish, Spanish. Another Spanish. There we go. These are such pretty fish. I, I don't particularly like to eat them, but they are pretty. I know, I know most people do love to eat Spanish. But they are not my favorite. Little, little, little. See you, buddy. I'm switching over to this pogey style diamond jig. This is also from Clark Spoon, but it's a little larger profile bait. So since I've been catching such small fish, small like a small blue fish, two small Spanish, I'm gonna see if maybe this bigger profile will get some of those bigger fish. So we're gonna give it a shot. This is the first time I've thrown this and I was just putting this in the water here close just to see and it, the swim action on this thing is phenomenal man like the weight 
evidently of this jig, it's, it's a lead jig, but evidently the weight of it, it, uh, it swims back and forth and it looks awesome. This is going to definitely crush the fish. First hookup on the, on the pogey style bait. Don't know what we got. I'm not getting as many hits on this one as I was the bigger, the, the other diamond jig, the, the more slender profile. But, uh. I'm hoping that this produces some bigger fish. All right, here's a Spanish. Same size. Oh, there it goes. My theory so far is incorrect. Trying to get the bigger fish with the bigger profile bait. Oh. Okay, fish on, fish on. Ah, uh, let's see. It's been a, been a minute since we've had a bite. Let's see if this is a ladyfish. I think it's a Spanish. Another Spanish. Little man, all these Spanish are teeny tiny. Wish I could get a big one. Pretty little guy. See you, dude. We are back at the house and I think that I have found my new favorite diamond jig. This Clark Spoon has all of the components that I'm looking for in a jig. The hooks are quality. The finish is quality. It holds up. The first lure that I was throwing, the, the more slender type bait, uh, it I actually threw it off while I was casting. So I don't have that one to show you. I think I hooked and caught more fish on it, but the paint did still hold up. Like the paint was still in good shape uh, before I casted it off, unfortunately. Uh, but that second style bait just gives you another really unique design to it. It swims well. I think it's going to be a killer, killer lure in the surf. I'm definitely going to be throwing it some more. And hopefully, I think I think it'll pick up trout and all that stuff. I just need to get an opportunity to throw with some of them. But all in all, killer lure. Uh, I think the reason I've, I've kind of come to the conclusion that you're going to lose fish on these diamond jigs. It's such a heavy jig. If, if that fish comes up and shakes its head, you got a 9 out of 10 shot that you're losing that fish. So you just want to try to keep, do your best to try to keep that fish down. Try to keep them from shaking their head best you can it might get a little frustrating but it's such a good lure even though despite that flaw i guess just because of the weight of the lure i'm i still love throwing it it just hooks so many fish there's so many different species that hit that lure i think it just and you can just throw so far you know like to reach some of those spanish mackerel i don't know if you noticed in the video but like some of those hits were as soon as that bait hit the water and i'm throwing it on a nine foot steelhead rod i'm chunking that thing so and i'm waiting out so like that lure is getting out there you know it's not close in so like that's you know a lot of people have mentioned in, in the comments that they really like throwing the the bubble rigs in the surf which, which is great you know I've, I've actually never personally thrown them but i'm very aware of them and i don't know that the bubble rigs work for spanish but throwing from the beach sometimes you really need that distance and that diamond jig is going to give that to you whereas those bubble rigs you you just ain't getting out there, especially if you got a south wind in your face like I did this day. If you notice, the, it was very windy. We had a lot of surf. That south wind was blowing right in my face. If you're trying to throw a bubble rig, you know there's just too. There's a lot more stuff on there. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get the distance like at all. So you're not gonna have the opportunity at a lot of those fish just because you can't reach them. So that's what I really like about the diamond jig is having that advantage of being able to get to places that you're not going to necessarily be able to with other lures, but some days it doesn't matter. You know, some days they are close enough in that you can reach them with whatever. I got these lures uh, at Sam's Bait and Tackle here locally. Uh, I don't know where you can order them online. You can probably find it, but Clark Spoon is, I think it's new, I think it's a new lure, but I got these from Chris Vecce at Sam's Bait and Tackle here in Orange Beach. So if you are looking to hook up with some of these Clark Spoons, I think they're the only place carrying them as of right now. So go check them out. Chris is a cool dude. Ask for him. He'll be able to hook you up with some of these lures. They work great. I think they solve a lot of the problems. Uh, Chris has kind of seen some of my posts 
and some of my uh, and I've actually bounced some ideas off of him trying to kind of figure out what's the best solution to some of my problems I've been having with diamond jigs and he he said hey man try this out so um, I really like uh, the design and everything of these jigs I think I think they're top-notch probably one of the best ones and I've tried a lot now so you guys should give it a shot hope you enjoyed the video I know all the fish were small <laughs> uh, to this day but I think that's mainly just what was there. Didn't get the Bonito. Uh, I, hopefully they'll hang around a little bit longer for me to have an opportunity at them again. Definitely would love to hook one from the beach. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with me. And as always, you stay.